terms of intention, and I'm not an attorney, you are an attorney, you are a lawyer, obviously, and you would you would definitely know those better. But I think with any, most of the laws, I wouldn't say any laws, most of the laws in the US, your intention plays a big important part, right? So if you're intending to do something, even if it's something non-related to immigration, that is basically, that plays a key role, an important part into how and what, or the outcome of what you probably have done or what you're trying to do, right? Right, absolutely. Yeah, right. absolutely. It, it plays a big part in criminal law. Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> but, but in this role, yeah, you're absolutely right. And, you know, another thing that you're trying to get over is the fact that sometimes consular officers ask about, you know, your family, who's in the United right. States, how did they get there? Did they go there with a student visa and now they're a U.S. citizen and yeah. so on? Yeah. And so the thing you got to keep in mind is this isn't about tricking the consular officer. You're not going to trick the consular officer. You, you know, they've seen... 10,000 people like you. you're not going to yeah. outsmart. What you can do, though, is come off as a very positive, very thoughtful person who's put some, a lot of effort into their application and their plans. And your intention, your the best intention to have when you're 18 is I will work hard and do my best and we'll see what happens. Sure. Not sure. I am absolutely 100 percent going to come back to, you know, whatever, yeah. Burkina Faso and run, become prime minister. You have no idea what's going to happen in five years. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So as long as your intention is not, I will absolutely figure out how to stay in the United States. If it's undefined or if your your preference would be to come back and do something worthwhile in your own country, that's great. That's absolutely great. They just they just want honestly, they just want to avoid those situations where somebody gets to the United States, starts working immediately and, you know, doesn't take their studies seriously. And after six months, a year, you know, they're not going to class anymore. That's the person that they're trying to avoid giving a visa to. So as long as you don't come off as someone like that, then then you have a very good shot of getting your student visa.